everyone, Aaron with Elite Water Sports, and we just got done setting up our kite, pumping it up and securing it to the ground. And now here comes the bar and line segment. So what we do is we typically want you to follow the line of traffic. Most people rig their kites these days downwind from, from their kite, okay? So they're gonna run the bar and lines downwind. There's other various uh, locations around the world that maybe possibly they are more inclined to run their bar upwind. And as you get better at this, it doesn't matter how you do it. We would just suggest that you follow the line of traffic, meaning that everybody else is rigging downwind, you should do the same thing. Now, if you're in a confined space, you could actually rig this line or untangle the lines, wrap them back up and bring them out here on the, on the beach and connect them to the kite, but that's gonna be in a different video. So this is the most simplest uh, form of rigging your uh, kite, a nice open area, nice clean launch. We're gonna have the kite secured. We're gonna drop the four lines right behind the kite and just dump all these lines out in the straightest manner possible, okay? You also don't want these lines too slack. You wanna make sure that they're kind of straight and even. That'll allow you to untangle them much easier. Now this process is a bit intimidating for a lot of beginners out there. So you can also practice this at home and your field, um, out in front of your, your house and your yard, anywhere you can practice this, okay? So do that before you get out to the beach so you just feel a little bit more confident when you're ready to go for your first ride with your own gear. All right, so the lines are nice and straight. What I'm gonna do is look at the bar I know while riding the bar or riding the kite, you're gonna have red on your left for this brand, okay? When the kite is on the beach, it's upside down right now, so we have to think that the bar needs to be upside down. Now, if you do get this confused, you can remember this, you can have red right rigging, so red right rigging, that always helps me. Also, at the very end of this line is going to be a red pigtail that's gonna to connect to another red pigtail on the kite. So if you have blue connecting to red, you know that you've done it wrong. Just come back down, flip your bar over, and untangle your lines one more time. So I'm gonna lay it down on the grass and start separating the lines. Everybody has their own technique doing this. Some people just use the fingers like this, splitting the lines. Remember, the most important part of this is having those gray lines in the center and the red and blue lines on the outside. If you mess that up, things could go wrong on your launch. You wanna make sure this process is definitely detail oriented and making sure that you don't skip any necessary steps. Now, my technique is a little bit more advanced. I'm going to use my body to separate the lines and I only use one line, my red line and my right hand, three lines in my left hand, I have my body separate them. So therefore I can kind of walk a little faster and all I'm doing is really pulling this red line out and you can see all the lines kind of fall apart. And it's a little bit more advanced technique, not for everybody, you know? Um, so maybe this works for you. If anything, just remember, you just gotta split all four lines. Now, if you happen to have one line that's really tangled up, just do one line at a time, okay? Don't focus on all four lines, just focus on one line at a time and you know, it might take a little longer, but you'll get out in the water soon enough. All right, so I'm at the end. I got all four lines here. And essentially, no matter where I walk on the beach, if my kite's located right here, located over on the right, anywhere on the beach, I can walk to any location just like this and separate the lines and they'll still be untangled, okay? All right, so in this situation, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and separate the four. Red's gonna be thrown out, kind of exaggerated a bit. Gray separated, lay it down. Gray, lay it down. Those are my bridles. And then my last line, I'm gonna keep in my hand and directly go straight over to the wingtip and connect it to it. I'm gonna look over the wingtip, make sure that there's no tangles, make sure that this line goes all the way straight out, no knots, no tangles. It's not interfering with any other debris on the beach. And then I'm gonna do the lark's head. Lark's head is super simple. A lot of people don't believe that this is going to work or secure the kite, but this is what industry standard is. So loop, pass the line through the loop. You have a little knot at the end, 
pass the line through the knot and secure it. Boom, boom, boom. Nice and secure, it's not going anywhere. Now this little black tab, you just pull that and it comes apart. Put it back on, secure it, nice and tight. Make sure it's snug against this knot. So the, back, or the, the wrong way of doing it is securing it here because now your lines are gonna be different lengths. You wanna have it slid all the way up to that knot. All right, the next part, the bridle. And bridle, go ahead and grab your gray line and reach down, look for your bridle. Look at all the tangles that could happen on your, on your bridle. This is what I see the most, uh, most dangerous part of kiteboarding on the beach for beginners is not looking at their bridles when they're, when they're attaching their bar. You wanna make sure that it is completely untangled and it has a nice cascading look to it from the leading edge. If you notice, it starts way up there runs down, connects to several points along the leading edge. And then finally, the lowest point right here is where you're gonna secure your bar lines to it. There's that lark's head again. Boom. Attaching there. This one's done. Same process again. You have your cascading bridle down from the leading edge. No tangles, I visually look at each segment to make sure there's no knots, no tangles, no lines passing through it, and then attach to my front lines. Very important, guys. This is what I see happens the most. Even for advanced riders out there, occasionally we'll see a bridle foul before launch. Lastly, that red line. Untangled from the wingtip, follow it up trace it all the way to the very end and attach. All right, so now our bar and kite is attached to each other. It's fully untangled. If I had any questions about that, or possibly I'm looking back down the lines, if I think that anything is tangled or just not perfect, I'm just gonna rerun and do the whole process over again. Lastly, I'd like to leave off on, a, on one of the most important etiquette things we can do in kiteboarding is just removing that bar and lines from the beach, wrapping those lines back up on the bar, and just laying the bar right next to the kite up here, out of the way so that other people can enjoy the beach and set up their own gear. All right, guys, this is Aaron with Elite Water Sports, hanging out with you. Stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna talk about location and a little bit of meteorology.